All right, what's up guys? This time we are taking a look at the 35th anniversary Transformers Ghostbusters crossover Ectotron or Ecto-1. Ectotron, Ecto-1, whatever. All right, so as you can see, that is a pretty cool car mode. Got a little Ghostbuster symbol right there. We got Slimer up top here. And he does come with this little Slimer. You can peg him in right there. It's a little finicky, but nice little sculpted Slimer. Just kind of a rubbery, plastic, uh, translucent, squishy. But he's pretty neat. So, I like that. Set Slimer off to the side. Alright, we'll do bring the car forward. Now, I don't talk about packaging very much, but I think it's worth noting on this, because we got... The uh, Classics Transformer packaging right there. That's pretty cool, man. I like that. And you can see my hand. Hi, everybody. But I like that. The Classic Transformers packaging. Stuff like that. That's pretty cool. That's pretty neat. And on the back, we've got the little graph chart. And we got the little, like, I remember this from the 80s, man. That's cool. That's a that's a classic background right there. All right. Oh, okay. And we got the little green and black instructions here. So that's pretty neat. Just nice little touch there. I like that. This is normally a GameStop exclusive. Uh, I got mine at a convention, but I think you can get him online. I haven't seen him in stores. He's not in stores yet that I know of. So. Somebody sees him in stores or whatever, but I think this is just going to be the GameStop exclusive. And like I said, I've seen him online at GameStop, but I went to several GameStop stores. And uh, even they were like, yeah, man, if you get your hands on one, let me know. And so might be talking to them soon. But all right, so let's get to the bot himself for transformation. We're going to pull this off. We're going to pop this out for temporary means unplug that and this will pop off at the sides here like so so while we've got this out this will become his little uh proton pack so it folds over like this and like this i don't think i'm aligning that up right no, I'm not. Okay, there, that, and then there. And then this will come around and plug into here. All right, so there's his little pack and we'll get back to this in a minute. Uh, let's go ahead. That will plug into the back right there. Okay, so that's the weapon, whatever you want to call it. All right, so the figure himself. First thing we're going to do, just going to move that out of the way. That doesn't really peg in anywhere. First thing we're going to do is get these side panels opened up, like so. All right. Oop, careful. There we go. Next, I'm going to bring them around like this. You can see the man. All right. So let's open these up, untab that from the back, and this will just sort of help you get the legs into place. All right, then bring that up. They don't tab in anywhere, but uh, they do hold securely, so don't worry about the connection. All right, so back here, what you want to do, obviously, untab, and then this part will fold out to become the heel, like so. Get that. All right, so we're gonna have to do this. And tab here. And this is a very extensive retool of the Hotspot uh, Combiner Wars mold. Very extensive retool. So let's bring the arms down, do that. No, he cannot be a combiner, in case you were wondering. 
spread the arms out like this. Okay, so this part, this piece right here will actually go down, and this piece will fold around like so. So again, this this piece goes down like that. Okay, like this piece doesn't come up. This piece goes down. Okay, like that, and then that piece folds over, and then of course, open his chest, pop the head out, close the chest back up. And there you go, transformed. Flip the feet down, got him all transformed up. Gonna have to raise the camera up a little bit because he is a pretty tall dude. There we go. And lastly, our little proton pack here. So, I'm putting that in right. I don't think I'm putting that in right. Hang on. Okay. Let's see what I'm doing. All right. How do you go in here? Well, it plugs onto the back if I can get things set up right. That's not it. Like that. Okay, let's see what I was doing. It's going to be a tab sticking out like that, and it goes in right there, here, and it'll hang on to the little lights right there. I see what I was doing. Okay. So that, this, you got everything plugged up here, and just put it in his hand, and he's got the little proton pack. Okay, yay. All right. So there he is, sorry about that. So there we go. Looking pretty cool. Uh, he's got the little face mask deal and there are some eyes underneath it. You can't really see it because of the light, but it's got the eyes right there and then the little face mask. And no, it doesn't fold down. That would have been really cool, but no, it doesn't fold down. So, all right. Uh, articulation wise, same as the little Combiner Wars figure. Here, here. Elbow swivel, elbow. Uh, does still have the double jointed elbow. That's pretty cool. Head, I believe, is on a ball joint. Uh, got very soft ratchets that way. We've got the knee like so. And upper thigh swivel. And the feet just kind of go up and down. There's no ankle rock or anything like that. And I keep knocking that backpack off. That's my fault. Plug that in. And the rubber plugs hold in fairly well, but they are a little finicky. So. There you go. But a pretty fun figure, man. Pretty cool. I dig him. Uh, this piece just kind of rests back there on the leg. You don't really do anything with it. But he's got the little uh, like Ghostbusters-esque thing, and it's even got Ectotron right there. It's kind of hard to see in the light, but he does have Ectotron written across on the little name tag. So, he's pretty cool, man. I like him. It's pretty fun. Let's get Siege Hound in here for a size comparison. So this guy is on the bigger Voyager class scale. Like I said, he's about Combiner Wars hotspot size. So, but all right, guys. 
Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.